My name is Steve Coley from Transmon Engineering and in this video we're going to show the easy installation of our iTech 7 fitted to a Toyota 8 series truck to enable speed control. We will be using adapter harnesses so that we have a plug and play connection to the truck's OEM harnesses. Here we remove the floor plate to gain access to the throttle pedal connections. Disconnect the OEM harness from the throttle pedal and using the Toyota adapter harness connect the adapter cables to the OEM harness and the throttle pedal. Once this is done, refit the floor plate. Now route the cable from the adapter harness to the module position. Install the module to the truck and sight in a position away from moving parts and excessive sources of heat. In this case, the tyre, idle and speed zones are not required. Leads marked throttle pedal, speed sensor, power and USB are all that are needed. Now, connect the throttle pedal harness, locate the speed sensor on the top of the differential, install the sensor adapter harness and refit the protective cover and route the cable away from moving parts and excessive sources of heat and secure with cable ties. Connect the speed sensor harness to the module harness. Connect the power supply cables to a permanent supply. Remove the blanking plug from the USB lead and connect this to a computer running the iTech 7 software. Run the program and follow the instructions to calibrate the throttle pedal to the iTech 7 module. Once this is done, we can start the engine and test and adjust the settings to get the speed we want. Should there be an error code showing on the dashboard, disconnect the battery for 30 seconds to clear any error messages. We can now test the high speed and in this shot it shows we are using the truck's speedometer to check that setting. In this shot we're now going to check the low speed setting and in this case it's 5 miles per hour. In the following video you can see that the truck has no speed restriction as it comes around the corner to the opening of the roller shutter door. In the next shot, the truck is restricted to 5 mile an hour. And in the next shot, here we have adaptive and we're using one of the zone inputs to detect the pedestrian. You can have up to three different speeds. I hope you found this video useful and thank you for watching.